Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and like you and many other people, we have wanted DayZ on Xbox One! Alright, I remember back in, what was it, like 2014, 2016, 20 freaking 9 I don't know, a long, long time ago they were developing a, an Xbox version of this game, and I have to say, I played the free trial of it, and here are my thoughts on it. The initial gameplay, I like that it's smooth, I like that the frame rate, they didn't compromise, they learned from some other early access games, frame rate is not to be compromised. The game runs really well. Looting is absolutely fun. I love looting, actually. I, I mean, looting to me is sometimes a chore in survival games. Not in this game, dude. It's awesome. But along with all that awesome stuff, obviously it's an early access game. So the bugs of the buttons not working, I wish it well, they weren't there. As well as the inventory management, those are bugs that they will fix. But something that is clearly not a bug that they have implemented is the controls. And let me explain to you something. There is a clear set of default controls on one of these for a shooter game, okay? Case in point, I don't know what trigger this is for you guys. This is the left trigger for me. Aim. This aims. Not in Daisy. This hip fire aims, and you have to push this button to aim down sights. Who is the idiot that put this in this game? I'm sorry. This is legit. Common sense, people. You look at the control schemes of Call of Duty and Battlefield and Siege. I get maybe B is your knife is your crouch button instead of the God. I'm throwing controllers everywhere. B or the stick is your crouch button. Okay, understandable. Some people like. Whichever one. I get it. But aiming is not a two-button process. Okay? Hip fire aim is one button. Iron sight aim is L. No one takes iron... Er, no one takes this aim from the L button. Okay? Reserved spot. Another thing. Why is putting bullets in your magazine so complex? You gotta carry the magazine, put the cursor over the bullets, put the bullets in. I don't get it. And I, I get some people like their reload button to be Y. No. Just no. It, it is X. X is reserved for the reload button. Okay? There, okay, when it comes to control schemes, okay, Halo's the exception to this because they make it work. There are three buttons in my life in a first-person shooter that will do the same thing. L is aim, R is shoot, and X is reload. All right? And if you have jumping, A is jump. Unless it's oblivion, then it's Y. Okay? Why do people not do research on their control schemes? I don't understand why, okay? Computer keyboard, there's like five million buttons for the same thing, right? Sometimes E is inventory, sometimes F, sometimes G, sometimes escape, sometimes, I don't know, control or something, I don't know. But on one of these, you don't fuck with the controls, okay? Now, I will say, they actually got the controls right with inventory. Kind of. Let me say this kind of. First of all, um, back button is your inventory. Inventory buttons, games on Xbox don't have inventory buttons. I prefer it to be pause but back, or, uh, you know, I get it, right? I, it's That's always a tricky one. Maybe down on the D-pad, I don't know. But RB and LB, excellent choices to swap between ground, hand, and inventory. Those are excellent choices. Perfect. Okay, you use the stick to go through your shirt, your pants, and your backpack. Excellent. Okay, now, let me, let me give you some advice on the inventory management. This A button right here, moves things around your inventory okay that's what it does x is usually the crafting button sometimes the activation button but most of the time a moves things you got to make sure that you a moves things all right this however with all of this being said i'm gonna say one thing it is excellent that they put this in game preview because this is exactly what game preview is for. Not to put your buggy game in there 
and freaking fix 10 million bugs like PUBG and release it. No, this is why they have early access. Okay, these people have been developing PC games for years and years and years. They may not understand how to research how to use these. So what better way to research how to use a controller than giving it to the people that use controllers 24-7, right? We all know, as Xbox gamers, PlayStation gamers, even Switch, what the button should be. They don't. So they put it in game preview for us to then... Literally, this is honestly something that we're fixing the game. It's not a bug, all right? Most of the crap in this game works, okay? Just from playing it, I'm not glitching through walls. Zombies aren't reviving. Zombies aren't bullet sponges. Headshots work. The reload button works, all right? The only two bugs that I've come into is inventory management is strange. Doesn't work very well. And the buttons sometimes didn't work. And that was only on the game preview version. The normal version of my friend Fuse said those issues didn't happen, okay? But crap like control schemes, those are excellent things to put into game preview. I don't understand why people don't do more of that. And instead, they're like, hey, you can have a game riddled with one million bugs. All right, no. DayZ is, right now, it is my opinion that DayZ is the starring golden child of what a game preview game should be. Hey, we have these core mechanics. They are working all right, now we need to fine tune the gameplay. Battlefield 5, zero glitches I've experienced, except for the thing where you pick up the gun as a medic when you revive someone. However, core mechanic changes, gun balancing, fortification balancing, tank balancing, excellent things to put into a beta. I don't get why people don't do this. I don't get why some people just don't. Crap like control schemes. PUBG doesn't even fix their control scheme. Come on, man. So that's what I, I wanted this video to be contr criticizing control schemes, but halfway through I realized something. The Daisy devs know what they're doing. They didn't release a buggy product that doesn't work because it's early access and we have an excuse to have bugs in our game. No. They released a product with the core gameplay elements. And now they're fine-tuning the core gameplay elements and probably gonna add some new ones. I don't want to buy DayZ because, well, Battlefield 5. I already bought that. I was just buying that. It's fine. And DayZ is not particularly. I mean, I like survival games, but. And I'm good at survival games somehow, and that's I'm naturally good at survival games, but I'm not. I don't want another one. I'm not ready for another one yet. So, with that, guys, that's it for this weird video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on video games. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode stream or vlog of whatever I decide to make.